Hey, hello everybody. So, welcome to this new let's play of Star Ocean The Last Hope International. AKA Star Ocean 4, AKA Fuck You Triace. So, this game originally came out in 2008 as an Xbox 360 exclusive, back then when Microsoft thought they still had a chance in Japan. And uh, basically bought every Japanese RPG they could get. Came out in 2009 on the PS Triple, here's the international version. Which uh, doesn't have that, which I don't think has any actual content added to it. Just the convenience of it being on one disc, dual audio, and I think some battle tweaks, etc. So yeah, this game, oh boy, oh boy, such joy. So, I'm just gonna look at the options here. Uh, visual style, so this is gonna be, uh, this is this is also a feature they added because you can either have anime portraits or CG. Anime portraits are originally only in the original Xbox 360 version and the CG mod models for the gritty western players. Yay, I'm gonna keep modern for now, I can change it any time I want anyway. Uh, gonna keep the voices in English because fuck weeaboos. Also, the dub isn't that bad. And also, the voices that are awful in Japanese, uh, in English, are just as awful in Japanese. Believe me. No amount of good voice acting can save this fucking script. Uh, text English. You know what, I'm gonna be hardcore and play this shit in French. Or not. Uh, blah, blah. Cutscene voice volume. Yeah, could tone that down. Oh god, no, oh sh And I just forgot on one of the reasons I. I just remembered one of the reasons I hate this fucking game. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, good. Bam. So, let's start this then. Alright, uh... Yeah, we wanna play this normally. I'm not gonna take easy. I'm hardcore. AD 2064. Planet Earth was on the brink of destruction. Oh, uh, kind of was in the process of being destroyed. Clashes between the World Republic Federation and the various nations that opposed it sparked the outbreak of World War III. World War III was fought entirely exclusively in submarines. Deployed with complete impunity, raised the land in the blink of an eye. People believed it was the end of the world. And they were right to believe so. The dire situation forced the two opposing factions to negotiate... Uh, guys, all those red dots, that's not a good idea. Yay, I love peace treaties. The war may have ended, but its oh. effects remain. With well, the uh, guess it didn't work out, huh? Earth's population was drastically reduced. Those who survived the conflict lived a confined existence, trapped in underground cities. They then became mole Countries people. joined together to form the greater United Nations and turn their eyes skyward <laughs> to space. The greater the United Nations. The USTA, or Universal Science and Technology Administration, man began to seek new worlds beyond the stars. Hey look, we're walking around radiation. 2087, the first year of the new space date calendar. Thanks to the success of Professor Trillis Bakhtine's warp drive experiments, Mankind's dream inched ever closer to reality. The USTA secretly began to implement its SRF project, the Space Reconnaissance Force. Hmm. The humans that stayed on Earth just basically made Fist of the North Space Star happen. 10. At last, the first official SRF mission. So, uh, this is a prequel to every Star Ocean game, by the way, of which I've only finished the second one. Played like almost half the first one. <laughs> I bet they're rehashing all this stuff at the ceremony. Oh man, can barely hear anything. Uh, all right, 
guess I better be going. Uh, might have to fiddle with the voices later on a bit. Edge? Ass. I knew you'd be here. So yeah, Boy, our two protagonists. You, can I, How long do you think we've known each other? I know all your hiding places, Edge. Yeah. Oh man, all those things you shoved up your ass. Remember how you'd always cry when I wasn't around? Sure took the fun out of playing hide and seek with you. Th that was ages ago. Uh, I'm not vul I'm not a vulnerable waifu. As long as you're so quick to flare up like that, I guess. Uh... Giggity. If you're here, I guess the departure ceremony's over, huh? Anyway, there's still some time left until we take off. I'm gonna work out a few kinks in the battle simulator. Um, sure. Hey, wait a second! You, you can't just start a battle tutorial for no reason. Yeah, well. Come on, stick I it up there. Gonna be able to meet Bend over. Hero. I might have gone if Commander Kenny was there. <laughs> Shimada's pontificating would just put me to sleep. That's USDA Deputy Director Shimada to you. Besides, I didn't want to see Crow gloating over his success anyway. It just really bugs me. Oh, that crow. And you call me childish. <laughs> Everyone in the story is childish. Oh, also, notice how their faces barely move. Yeah, that doesn't get better at all. So you will have those porcelain doll faces for the entire game. Also, if the screen kind of looks like shit, it's because during battles, uh, it drops the resolution like a motherfucker. So, this is the battle tutorial. I'm just gonna remember how to attack. Attack button, alright. Go! So, this has free run. This is not like a Tails game. And the battle system is basically the only redeeming part of this game. Yay. Uh, change curriculum. The blind side. This is also a feature they added in uh, Star Ocean 4. Which uh, allows you to attack from behind. Pretty cool. Can jump. Allows you to do that. Which is something you will have to spam the ever-loving shit out of in later boss battles. Nicely done. All the ways result in a critical hit, except when it misses. Oh, oh fuck. Well done. Uh, change curriculum, blah blah. Yeah, fuck it. You know what? I'll figure out the rest like a man. Also, I can read up on it behind the scenes. Earth is still pretty blue for being completely destroyed and ravaged. That's cool. Doesn't my mustache do that enough? It won't happen again. Please accept our most sincere apologies. We are Japanese ass kissers. Oh, smart glasses guy doesn't fuck around. Moon base commander Stephen D. Kenny, reporting from Earth, sir. 
the great earth hero, light speed Penny wouldn't you? There's a sex joke in his name somewhere. It hardly bodes well for the commander of such an important mission to miss his own departure ceremony. My apologies, Deputy Director Shimaka. Deputy Director Don Juo. Truly, I am blessed with a superior of vast kindness and understanding. To have been assigned trivial duties at a time like this. Oh, sick burn. Yeah, little fun fact that uh, Kenny guy, he's actually the ancestor of Star Ocean 2's protagonist, Claude C. Kenny. That's a nice little touch. Because I think this game plays a couple um, centuries before Star Ocean 1 and 2. Yeah, the sound is way too low, I shouldn't have fucked with the settings. I'm gonna rectify that the moment I can open the options. A number of governmental officials were expected to attend the ceremony, sir. The presence of the commander would have just been a distraction. I'm sure that was his concern. It doesn't matter. I don't care, we're gonna blow this bitch up anyway. Celebrate their departure from here. With a non moving static faces. Departure. General movement. Thank you, I can't figure it out. So, yeah, here's graphics, and oh, yeah, movement is a bit odd. Okay, camera's inversed, fuck me. So yeah, those are CG portraits, so uh, let's see what the other ones look like. They're nice. Look. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with those. Uh, the sound. Uh, uh, there we go. Ah! Oh, fuck you. So yeah, collect. Oh fucking pe oh, oh fuck you. So if you're a completionist, this game will fucking break you. It will make you its bitch. But uh, we'll talk about that later. Data dictionary. Stupid cooking system. The characters, blah blah. Item skills. What skills does he have? None, of course. Except sprinting. Yeah. That's not sprinting, that's fucking dashing. But anyway. Oh shit, I forgot. So I can modify the camera. Uh, no. Alright, let's explore this shit. Uh, an exclamation mark. Oh yeah, that's a system that you will have access to later, where uh, all your party members have rooms and you can assign them to sleep with each other for kinky anime hijinks. That's a safe point. Uh, you people remember the XMB? No. SRF. Uh, I think I have to go downstairs. So yeah, this game was also a bit special for PS3 owners because this is when, P when JRPG started coming out on PS3 after, you know, Microsoft were dicks. Okay, this is basically the room where Satan lives, later on. And Satan does item uh, synthesis and is the worst fucking character in this game, bar none. Her name isn't Satan, but she might just as well be. I hate her, what do you have to say? 
Uh, I want to stay at the moon base. I love the moon. Nothing happens here. It's calm. Fuck space. Little gym equipment in the lobby. Uh, yeah, I'm supposed to go to the cockpit. The Kynos. Kalnos, yeah. Yeah, let's take another look on the ship first. Because there's also missable stuff out the ass in this game. Uh, yeah. What I do like about this game is that this is actually one of the rare JRPGs on PS3 and 360 that actually looks like a current gen game. Well, that look, because as we all know, most JRPGs nowadays are made by either Gust or Compile Heart and look like absolute shit. This game actually looks good. But no, we can't have any more good looking games like this. We gotta have shitty waifu characters instead. But yeah, I'm no wager that Persona 5 at least is gonna look good. If that game looks anything like Catherine, I will splooge all over the place. Yeah, let's get this turd moving. I'll be standing by. Right here, staring at your ass. Like the camera does all the time. Seriously, every time you start battle with her or finish it, the camera will zoom on her ass. Oh, fuck you. What the fuck am I looking at? Uh, and she's the Satan I was referring to earlier. You can call me bitch! What the hell am I looking at? Is this happening? Is this a virus? Oh, fuck you. Look at- oh, fuck you. I fucking hate everything about you. Hate your voice, hate your stupid design, hate your mannerisms. Why are you reacting to that? Oh, man. I heard each ship would be getting support from Earth. But I never imagined anything like this. <laughs> Didn't think you're, you're scarier than the recesses of space. Anyway, from here on out, I got your back, man. Straight to the fiery depths of hell. Yeah, that's where you're that's where you're headed. Thing I want to be hearing before takeoff. Relax, you'll be fine. Let's see now. Your first destination is Planet Aeos, right? Fortunately, the unmanned exploration craft didn't report anything dangerous out there, like giant outer space bugs or whatever. So yeah, no worries, go for broke edge! <laughs> <sighs> Is this the kind of support we're to expect, ma'am? Ma'am? What am I, your mother? We're gonna be together for a while, kid, so let's dispense with the formalities. <sighs> oh, you're gonna suffer! Uh, looks like you got another call. Oh well, enough lover's patter for now. Talk to you later! Ah, my mortal enemy, red-headed Sephiroth. Did he just hang up on him? <laughs> you are such a bitch, Edge. Oh, man. He's spraying salt everywhere. Of the SRF001 Aquila. Pretending to be all dutiful doesn't suit you, Edge. You skip Man, his jealousy can burn through the ship. It's like he alien cares. blood. Nothing to do with you. Mm, Buck or Crow, I hate you. Mm. Can't be a pain sometimes. You know that? You done? Look, hey, you want a pain? Her, I'll okay? sick that pink headed, that purple headed monstrosity on you. We're not actually fighting, and would you quit with the theatrics already? It's really irritating. It also doesn't work since your face can't do emotions. Hey, come on, Edge. Does it really bug you that much that I made, Captain? No! I'm not jealous, fuck you. Stupid Captain. 
Actually, no, it doesn't. In fact, I think it's only natural you were promoted. It's I mean, you suck Shimada off, right? You're getting so far ahead of me. You really haven't changed at all. Still the same kid you were back in school and at the academy. Oh, <sighs> uh, don't talk about what happened one year ago. There's no need for you to rush yourself. Oh yeah, his full name is Edge Maverick, by the way. Let that, let that sink in for a second. Edge, you realize just how important our duties are with the SRF, don't you? Everyone shares the same responsibility, captain or not. Yeah, fuck lip sync. <laughs> Look, we're all in the same boat here. I'm just as nervous as you are. Captain okay, no, I'm nervous? not. <laughs> what, we expecting meteor showers tomorrow? This isn't a joke. Look, Edge, how should I put this? Let's both give it our all, huh? Yeah, let's. Great. Well, that's all I got for now. Looks like it's almost time. Bon voyage! See you sporadically during the game. Oh We're going to the same place. Get the show on the road. Ah, oh, he's so dreamy, my husband, though. <laughs> All hands in position. Oh, that mustache. That S mustache has seen things. Initiate launch procedures. Ugh, look at those dead eyes. No emotions whatsoever in there. Nothing will go wrong, I'm sure. Zero zero one, Aquila, launch preparations complete. Zero zero two, Belena to follow. You've all been trained well. Keep a steady hand and perform as you always have. Except you, Edge. Try to not fuck up for once. step forward is upon us. Brave pioneers charged with the destiny of mankind about to depart for space unknown. I pray for the success of your journey. Go, you 17-year-old kids. Future of humanity. Oh man, we did a big mistake, didn't we? So, uh, you guys like spaceships? Look at credit, spaceships in this game do look cool. Zero zero one, Aquila, launch confirmed. Zero zero two, Belena, preparing to launch. Zero zero two, Belena, launch confirmed. SRF-003 Kalnis, engage! Yes, sir. Initiating launch. Whoa, easier, Edge. Your face almost emoted there. You know that your race can do that. Bomb Shimada now! Do it! Ah, oh, pussies. Awesome. You guys like nausea? <laughs> so 
So don't get used too much to the space stuff, because in good old Star Ocean fashion, we'll spend a shit ton of time on medieval planets. Also, holy shit, a black guy. Prepare for warp out. Those are rare in Japanese games. Finally, Eos, and I'm gonna be the first to take that one small step onto the surface. Actually, Crow already landed. Just a big kid, Edge. Crow. Hey, it's a big deal for a guy, all right? An honor. Edge, be careful to keep the ship stable when we warp out. Oh, for fuck's sake! Let him pilot the fucking ship. Oh, also fun fact about Satan, uh, she's the recurring character of Star Ocean. Except not in this incarnation, she always looks and sounds and different, but she's always there, I guess. Star Ocean 4 just happens to be the worst Welsh. I'm getting a gravity reading. There's a meteor-like object crossing our planned trajectory. But from this distance I can't confirm any gravity wave interference. Meteor. No, he said meteor like. It's not the same thing. Could be a comet for all we know. The unidentified object has passed us. I'm detecting some minor fluctuations in the gravitational field. A meteor affecting our gravitational field? Isn't that strange? Yeah. I don't understand one word of what you're just saying. Warp out. Ten seconds to warp out. Nine, eight, seven, hey, why are Edris and Raimi's uniforms different? What the? What's going on? Status report. No, oh, probably because they're not just simple ship guys. Yeah, I know fluctuations in my wormhole. I usually call it diarrhea. Oh yeah, this is also gonna be one of the plots. Looking for a red-headed guy, I forget, Crow. I'm randomly Everything hitting ready. buttons. Captain. Emergency warp out. All hands brace for impact. Uh, I love those energy effects on the thrusters. Straight out of Budokai 3. Oh man, Raimi is headbanging something fierce. And this is what happens when a guy named Match at uh, Edge Maverick pilots your ship. Well, that looks obscene. Ah, uh, uh, damn. Uh, did we uh, crash land? What emotion am I displaying?
Alright, uh, yeah. And I'm going to fuck around with the settings again. Thanks, Star Ocean, making my job even harder. Alright. So, let's see. Is Raimi alright? Ah. Talk. Raimi? Raimi! Come on, let me grab Raimi, some of that. Thank God we're all safe. At least no one's critically wounded. Let's be grateful for small mercies. I'm issuing new directives. Status report. Damage to the ship is severe. The Kalnus is in very serious condition, sir. However, based on my analysis of the data... Which I've pulled straight off my I snatch. I can say with confidence that we've arrived on planet Eos. All right, we made it up, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, we only crashed one ship. We're not the only ones who crash landed, sir. I've detected other ships in the vicinity that probably encountered the warp anomaly. The Countess is here. Here's the Belena and Dante de Leon. Dante de Leon. And the Arania. Getting First, fancy there, Arania. The Belena and Dante de Leon crews. Once we're back in operating condition, we'll request further instructions from USTA headquarters. Any questions? Captain, what do you think happened to the Aquila? <sighs> it appears the Aquila attempted an emergency warp out as well, but I'm afraid that's the only information we currently have. Well, there's your answer on the Aquila. It concerns me, but there's nothing we can do right now. We have to concentrate on the task in front of us. The repair crew should prioritize subspace communication functions. We can't do anything without comms. I need those repairs completed double time. Understood? Yes, sir. Mr. Maverick. Sir. I'd like you to scout the area around the ship and make sure we're safe here. Yes, sir. If we're gonna sacrifice one, it might as well just be you. Ah, oh, Bloom. Yeah, I think they modified the light the lighting. Or, ah, oh, fucking camera, the lighting for the PS3 version, because I remember them there being reports that the light, that it was bloom out the ass on the 360 version. But yeah. Let's see this shit. Yeah, update that snow. Fucking good, so... Let's see. Yep. Yes, me. One guy. I'm gonna repair the shit out of it. Let's talk to Raimi, who is barely visible there. Boy, I hope I'm not gonna. I hope I'm not gonna die from some alien attack in like five minutes. Sweet, sniper's bang. Uh, anything in here? What the fuck is that? Blueberries! Because that's what usually comes out of those weird cocoon things. Look, stare into the eye- oh fuck. Stare into those empty eyes. Is that a treasure chest? Yes. 
broken metal cutting blade. Alright, we got a weapon now, so we can have a tutorial fight. The Kalnus actually held up pretty good, huh? I mean, it will never fly again, yeah. but... Do you think Crow is okay? I do. Unfortunately. He's not the type to let something like this do him in. <laughs> yeah, you're right. He's so much cooler Let's than you. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, oh, that's awkward. Anyway, how are things looking out here? It's just like the exploration crowd. Awful aliasing, crappy shadows, lots of bloom. Oh, you were talking about the, oh yeah. The environment on this continent seems perfectly suitable for human habitation. There's lots of primitive gymnospermae like these ferns huh, and sperm. The climate is subtropical and well to put it in earth terms, it's a lot like the Jurassic period. <gasps> the Jurassic dinosaurs. Oh, any dinosaurs? Come on. The exploration report didn't say anything about any large scale life forms. Large scale life form attacking in one, two, three. Damn, Mommy! that timing. <laughs> is that large scale? What is that thing? Some kind of bug? No way. What is it? Hey, attack already. Ah, uh, good old humanity. If you don't know what it is, attack the shit out of it. Also, two days from retirement. It is implied that they're getting slaughtered. And of course, the only thing that can hit them, blunt weapons. Oh, melee weapons. Oh, I gotta get my high frequency blade. God damn it. The muzzle flash on that thing looks so pathetic. I'm the main character, I can die in the first hour. You big bitch bug. I'm taking at least one of those legs home with me. Yeah, fucking Zandatsu. Oh god, I forgot about that bullshit. Did that work? Good. So they're not totally invincible. Unlike me. And that means. I can do this. Bring it on. We're just getting started. <laughs> yep, that's when you're going to start. Mid blink. Come on, let's do this. Oh man. So yeah, that bonus board is also really important. It'll give you, well, bonuses as long as you can keep it up long enough. Forget how it works exactly, but it's pretty good. 
It's crucial to grinding. Yeah. Oh well, that happened. Huh. 